Hello guys, it's me, Keep6 again. Um, I'm here with a, a review of a certain application you can get for your G19 keyboard. And unfortunately, it's only for the G19 keyboard. You can try, you can try it without if you have like the G15 or the uh, 510 or something like that. But I don't think it will work. You can look around for something similar. I'm sure there's something similar. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, it's only this program only works for the G19. So you can go to the website here, and I will link it down uh, in the description. And then the download is right there. Let me see, where's my mouse? There it is. So there's the download right there. And basically what it does is, let me show you. Once you have it installed, um, all you have to do is open the program up, go to install plugins, um, and you'll see Skype, TeamSpeak 2, TeamSpeak 3, IP Chicken, which will display the current uh, internet IP address of your computer that you're on. Uh, developer, this this one is still in develop. Uh, it's the MS Live Messenger. Um, it's uh, it's going to be pretty interesting once that once that's out. Uh, I don't know if it'll take place for my TeamSpeak or whatnot or my Ventrilo. Um, but one that's missing here is color factory right there and it's because I have it installed already so you'll see color factory on there install that and then when you go to your system in G19 you'll see fall net G19 display manager just hit OK and then you'll see color factory now what color factory does is a few things you can pick your color right there and then you have your your uh, little hue of colors right there that you can sift through and all you have to do is move your mouse and sure you're not moving your mouse on anything here but there is a little where is it there it is there is a little indicator when you move your mouse and your keys do change colors so you can easily pick the color you want I'll take that and then you just have to hit the back button to get out of that and now it's uh, selected so it's fairly simple uh, a little bit easier than uh, using the software on your computer and you don't have to exit the game or anything so that's that's pretty nice uh, or anything you're doing um, the next one is color fading now color fading I haven't gotten that to work properly yet I just got this app so I'm not sure and then there's ambient light ambient light I haven't gotten to work correctly either, it just changes the keys to white. I've seen a video of someone having it uh, kind of adjust to music similar to what I'm about to show you, but I haven't gotten it to work. So what I have gotten to work was um, the disco light, and disco light is pretty neat. Basically it gives you an uh, interface uh, like such, and if you have no sound on your keyboard or on your uh, on your computer right now, your keyboard will not make any uh, lighting light effects. So let me just make sure that Ventrilo is muted. Go to this little video I have here, and I will show you what it does. But first of all, actually, we will go into installed plugins, and there's Color Factory right there and then plug-in settings and then here you go so you have a bunch of different settings you can use I'm gonna put it on random because that's what the default settings were and some of these were adjusted but it doesn't matter so you'll see here once I play this I hope it's not too loud So I have it set to change the colors automatically, and you can see it actually goes to the beat, and it will change the colors depending on, I have it set to change the colors slow, uh, otherwise when it goes too fast, I'll have a seizure or something, I don't know, it's insane, turn this down a little bit. 
So you can turn your speakers down, and it doesn't adjust the uh, intensity of the key of the lighting on the keyboard. But this is a YouTube video. If I were to turn the YouTube video down, it would uh, adjust the settings on there. Now I have it set right now to uh, automatically adjust like uh, the colors and everything. And I'll show you what else you can do to it. I don't really like it like that. I like to have a static color, like blue or red. Um, otherwise I get, uh, I don't know, my, my, my eyes start to hurt after a while. <laughs> so I'll show you right here. Let me, let me put this on pause. And then I will go back to the settings here. And just uncheck random. And you can you can click on here to pick the color you want, but I've already done that because it matches my mouse. And it, average frequency was checked. I unchecked it and moved this down one. The reason why is because I think it uh, it will detect the lower frequencies better. So like explosions, gunshots, um, uh, something a little bit more heavier. It, so. It won't be. It won't lighting. It won't light up your keyboard 24/7 during uh, a video sequence or whatnot, an action sequence. Over here, I keep light lighting effects. Sorry for the uh, shakiness. It's I'm recording with my iPhone. Uh, so lighting effects fit to frequency band, which is down here. Uh, or you can do total volume, which uh, obviously you can you can guess that it, the lights will. Uh, just for everything, so the slightest bit of sound should uh, have the lights in full uh, effect. I'm, I'm assuming. And then there's M1 to MR fit to frequency band or total volume, and this is the effect speed. So I'm assuming that's what that is. Total volume on slow. So I have it set to the. Uh, the total volume so that whenever any anything the slightest bit of sound happens it will light it up but it will be slow um, and that's I think that's only when you have random checked I believe I'm just getting this now you, you check random and that's the effect of uh, it changing lights or possibly lighting up and then dimming I'm not sure but like I said, I just got this. It's a pretty good app. And let's just test this out now without random colors on. I find it works a bit better. Right now it doesn't look as bright as it does. As you can see, it is a bit brighter when I zoom up. I'm just zooming out so that you guys can see the monitor and the keyboard at the same time. So it's a pretty good app. Um, I'd like to see what the other options do. As you can see, when you're in uh, the, when you look at the HUD here, it's got a nice display. Let me turn the volume down. The video is still playing, so the volume is still in effect. As you can see, I just muted it on my speakers, not on the video. Um, so, I the only thing I would like to see is how these other two options work. Um, color fading and ambient light it'd be nice anyways I hope you enjoy this and if you have the G19 I hope you can enjoy the application so talk to you later